keep it? Let me see it. It's like a little rag doll. I guess nobody wanted her anymore. Kind of reminds me of the little match girl. Who's the little match girl? Well, she was a girl in a story that Hans Christian Andersen wrote. Tell us the story, Daddy. All right. It was late on a bitterly cold Christmas Eve. The snow was falling, and a poor little girl was wandering out in the dark, cold streets. She was bareheaded and barefoot. She carried a bunch of matches in her apron, and she held a packet of them in her hand. Nobody had bought any of her matches all day long. Nobody had even given her a single penny. Well, the poor little girl was hungry, and she was cold. She looked a picture of misery. Lights were shining from every window, and there was a most delicious odor of roast turkey in the streets. For it was Christmas Eve, and she couldn't forget that. She found a sheltered laneway, and here she crouched, drawing her feet under her. Oh, but she was colder than ever. Her little hands were almost dead with cold. Oh, one little match would do some good. Should she dare use a match to warm herself? Only one? It burnt with a bright, clear flame, just like a little candle when she held her hand around it. Suddenly, the little girl pictured herself sitting in front of a big stove. There was a splendid fire blazing in it. But just as she was stretching out her feet to warm them, the flame went out, the stove vanished, and she was left sitting with the end of the burnt match in her hand. She struck a new one. Now she could see a table with snowing white cloth and pretty china. A roast turkey with gravy and cranberry sauce was on it. And then the match went out and there was nothing but the coal. She lit another match. And this time she was sitting under a lovely Christmas tree little girl stretched out both her hands toward it. And then out went the match. All the Christmas candles on the tree rose higher and higher till she saw that they were only twinkling stars. And one of them fell and made a big streak of light across the sky. Now someone is dying, thought the little girl. For her grandmother, the only person who had ever been kind to her, used to say, when a star falls, a soul is going up to God. Now she struck another match, and this time her grandmother appeared. Grandmother, cried the little creature, do take me with you. I know you're going to vanish when the match goes out. You'll vanish like the warm stove and the delicious turkey and the beautiful Christmas tree. Quickly, she struck a whole bunch of matches because she, well, she did so long to keep her grandmother with her. Grandmother had never before looked so big or so beautiful. She lifted the little girl up in her arms and they soared in a halo of light and joy far, far above the earth where there was no more cold, no hunger, no pain. For they were with God. When they found her the next morning, they said, she must have tried to warm herself. But nobody knew what beautiful vision she had seen nor in what a halo she had entered with her grandmother upon the glories of Christmas. Oh, it's so sad. Nobody on earth cared. Where? 